me burn when they're looking, Lord. Oh, don't just let me burn when they're looking, Lord. I want to burn for you all my life. When I'm old and gray, I want to be on fire for you, Lord. When we're old and gray, we want to be on fire, Lord. Oh, when the waves come, we want to be burning. When the waves of life come, we want to be on fire.
We want to burn more than the song, Lord, we want to burn. Catch me up in your story. Catch me up. Yes, sing that to him. Catch me up. Yes, he loves this. <laughs> he wants yielded lovers. He wants yielded lovers. Yielded. Catch me up. Lord, we give you our little lives again. I give you my little life that moves you somehow. My little life moves you. Catch me up. Catch me up. again. You're marking us again. I don't know what it looks like and I don't want to make it happen, but would you help us respond correctly to this moment, Holy Spirit? We want to burn, Lord. Don't miss this moment to respond to Him. Forget about the people that you came with. Respond to the sovereignty of God in this room. Whatever it looks like, maybe you need to get on your face or on your knees or you need to sit, whatever it is, but the fire of God is the love of God. The fire of God is the love of God. His all-consuming eyes, they burn with love. 
God, would you liberate this room of condemnation, God? Would you liberate this room of accusation with the eyes that burn? They burn. Some of you are gonna get delivered today, not because I'm saying it, but because God's in the room and he has fire in his eyes. Fire in his eyes. Give us dove eyes tonight. Dove eyes, dove eyes to see you. Oh Lord, there's something on this bridge. Let's sing the bridge again. I feel my heart out of my chest. I wanna stay. This is your heart cry. It really is. Let the flame of my heart I want to burn forever like this. Come be the fire inside of me. Come be the flame upon me. Jesus, what, did it, what does it look like for a whole room to have a heart on fire for you, Lord? What comes out of this place, Lord? you to get on your knees if you're in this room I want you to if you can get on your knees you can lean on your chair but I just feel like there's a correct way to respond and I feel like getting on our knees is humility you know oh Jesus Leviticus 6, I want you to close your eyes and I want you to listen. Leviticus 6, 8, then the Lord spoke to Moses saying, command Aaron and his son saying, this is the law of the burnt offering. The burnt offering itself shall remain on the hearth of the altar. That's like the floor of the altar all night until the morning and the fire on the altar is to be kept burning on it. The priest is to put on his linen robe. I want you to see Jesus as the priest doing this. And he shall put on undergarments next to his flesh and he shall take up the ashes. That's the things that are burning off of us even now to which the fire reduces the burnt offering on the altar and place them beside the altar. Then he shall take off his garments and put on other garments and carry the ashes outside the camp to a clean place. Lord, I thank you that you're taking ashes outside this camp today, our ashes. And listen to this. The fire on the altar shall be kept burning on it, on the burnt offering. It shall not go out, but the priest shall burn wood on it every morning. He shall lay out the burnt offering on it and offer up in smoke the fat portions of the peace offerings on it. And I want you to listen to this. Fire shall be kept burning continually on the altar. It is not to go out. And I just want, I want, I want, to, I want to let me know, us know here, that we are that burnt offering tonight. We've been asking the Lord to come and burn us, you know, and we can give him a sacrifice of praise and it's so good, but it's becoming the offering that he wants. Oh! a living sacrifice a living sacrifice is what he's looking for a living sacrifice Lord come and find us a living sacrifices never getting off the floor of the altar but burning increase the fire in my life Lord increase the fire in our lives Lord to be living sacrifice 
sacrifices unto the Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh. We want to live lives submitted to you, yielded to you, every part of us, Lord. We want to burn in this time, Lord. We need to burn in our generation, Father.
verse 11 and 12. The Lord is giving instructions to the priest that it's the priest's job to keep the fire on the altar that is in the temple burning. And it was a work for the priest day and night to continually put fuel on the fire so that the fire would not burn out. And I feel like there's, there's several in the room tonight who that describes your spiritual life, that you feel like it's been a work, you feel like it's been a toil, you feel like you've been striving to keep the fire in your heart burning, to keep the flame of faith in your heart burning. And you're just tired, you're worn torn, you're beat down, you feel worn out and burned out. And I, I see the Lord tonight wanting to mark hearts with the fact that we have such a high priest Oh, we have such a high priest that he did this once and for all when he offered up himself. He offered up himself. And I see the Lord, man, wanting to lay down on the altar of your heart and say, I'll be the fuel. I'll be the fuel. Oh, he's the fire, but he's the fuel. He's the fire, but he's the wood. He's the fire, but he's also the priest carrying the fuel. And I see the Lord laying down on the altars of hearts again, saying, would you let me take my rightful place? It's my job to keep the fire burning in your heart. It's my job to author faith in your heart. And I see the Lord saying to those of you who feel burnt out, would you put your pen down and let me author? Would you put your pen down and let me author faith again? Oh, would you let me be the high priest? Oh, would you let me reveal to you that I am able to save to the uttermost anyone who comes to God through me because I'm the fire and I'm the fuel. So I want to do this. If that's, if that's you and you relate to that and you're like, I have been tired, I just want you to put your hands out where you are. And the band's gonna lead us in this song and sing, sing this song with faith. But man, I believe the Lord in this moment is revealing to your heart that he's your high priest. He's the author, he's the fuel, he's the fire. He's it, and I feel like he's captivating again. I feel like specifically those of you in your 20s who maybe you've been walking with the Lord for a while, but you feel tired. It's not like it was, it's not that first love. And I feel the Lord coming with his zeal for his temple throwing fuel back on the fire of your heart.
flame up 